guys, I'm Urban Fox Gamer and today we're showing you a tutorial in 3ds Max 2014 on how to make low poly trees. So let's begin by going to our create tab, then go to the geosphere. Now let's try to create. As you can see, there's three types of geodesic base types, the tetra, the octa, and the iposa. You can, um, for me, you can use um, anything but my preference is a tetra so it's it kind of looks more organic so you can also uh, do it like this uh, a hemis hemisphere if you want to like make like uh, a, b a big tree and by the way you can uncheck this smooth to get that low poly look so um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you two kinds of how to, um, low poly trees uh, the noise one and the twisted one so let's start with the noisy one so uncheck that so let's go to our modifier and get noise there you go. There will be a bounding box that is yellow, darkish yellow. Let's move the grid by pressing G so you can see. So here is the parameters. I suggest you can start with just a small number like 10 and just go down like as much as you want. The lower the scale, the more noisy it gets. So let's just say it's five. As you can see, it's pretty much messed up. And by the way, the seed is like a randomizer. Has a lot of lot of variations to it. So let's get that. You can animate like uh, animated tree if you want. So if you're happy with it, convert it to poly by right clicking and convert to editable poly if you're happy. Or you can just collapse, collapse to like this, something like that. Let's go back so, I, you, so you can see, right click, collapse to yes. So it just went to like the editable, editable mesh. But we wanted a poly so there you go. By the way, if your your model is very smooth, just go down, Control A to select every face, then go here on the smoothing groups and clear all, so you can have that low poly look. So let's let's make the the trunk by getting probably a cylinder. You can use a box. Or probably a pyramid, whatever you want. Just make it smaller. There you go. Radius. Do it like this. Don't add any polygons yet because I'm going to show you why later. So let's go by right clicking, convert to poly. Let's just Align this, align, click, there you go, pivot, pivot center, press OK, move it down. Now, vertex selection, scale it down. Now, you add more vertices after you do that. Let's see if we added vertices before you done this, it's gonna be a little bit harder. But if that's your style, hmm, go ahead. But because here uh, you done what I did, up next is clicking the connect. You add vertices now, or um, segments. As you can see, it's now very uniform. Let's add a little bit of that and 
same process, add noise. Can, um, for example, let's change it a little bit, like 5 by 5, scale it down, something weird. As you can see, it's now a little bit noisy. As you can see, that's, that's what we want. Now, if you're happy, like this, control, uh, collapse, collapse too. Yes, it's now permanent. So, if you want color, press M for material, get a diffuse, let's make it brown. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, okay, click and drag. Same goes with this. Oops. There we go. Green. Okay, like, like I said before, you can see it's very smooth. You want it like very low poly, control A. Want, we're on a polygon selection. Scroll down and clear all. And ta-da. It doesn't look that much, but it has it's more edgy now. So that's how to make this one in a noisy way. Now let's make another one on a twisted way now. So it's pretty much the same process. Get a geosphere. Create, create, um, uh, let's do it like octa this time. Then probably boost it up four. It's up to you on what you want. For the, for this example, let's get a box. Hmm. If you wanted like one, 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 right click. The, these arrows so you don't have to type one every time so there's that for example this is what I'm talking about if you're like you have polygons right now and you wanted to have that look on the narrow at the top and fat at the bottom it's gonna be like harder because you have you're gonna do this see and that is why we add the other polygons later after we did this and we add there we go now we go to twist a modifier twist there you go now just push this up as you can see and there you go it's how you make a very twisty sphere but you can move this by by clicking this plus symbol plus symbol here gizmo then you can scale the gizmo so you have control and how twisty here also even though you have angle here then the center you can change the center see let's adjust that let's adjust the gizmo there you go. If you're happy, convert it to poly or collapse. Let's get it down a little bit. And with this one, twist. Oops. There you go. Angle. And there's the twist. You want just control A and remove the smoothing loops. Clear all. There it is. Hmm, you can use this. Scaling up. Hmm. 
you can see uh, by this we can now I think th this is now pine tree Let's get this line this to here there you go there is a pine tree Just like that and here with here same goes with a line as you can see there's that just click drag everything with color and there it is you can combine those two techniques like this I added a twist here now to make it like more organic just add a noise put a random number a smaller number is pretty much okay you go experiment with it As you can see it's now looking more organic twist it a little bit something that we like or you like I mean and there it is Ta -da! And that's how you make trees in 3ds max Pro low poly trees of course so that's pretty much it guys if you like this video give it a like and if you have suggestions or other tutorials that you want to learn just leave in the comment section this is urban fox gamer signing up